Hi everyone, this is Dr. Omar. In this video clip, I will show you how to transform your data in SPSS using the log 10 and how to transform positively skewed data, data that has zero values in it and data with negative numbers. I have a data and uh, we want to explore the distribution of this data and uh, to find whether it is normally distributed or not. It is essential step and it is in fact the first step for statistical analysis of a data is to explore the distribution of this of the data whether it is normally distributed or not. If it is normally distributed then parametric test will be used for the analysis. If it is not normally distributed two options available either to transform the data so they become normally distributed through through three different function one of them transform the data through the log 10 or use an unparametric test for analyzing the data so here in this part will show you how to explore your data how to transform non normal uh, distributed data and uh, how to deal with data that have zero in it and data that are have also negative values in it. So the first step here, I have a column called PS, which means positively skewed. I have already checked the distribution of the data and it was uh, positively skewed. So I'm going to show you how to do that. First of all, click on analyze, go for descriptive, click on explore, reset this. I'm going to move the positive skewed into the dependent list box and I'm going to take statistic keep it as it is if I click on plots I'm going to untick stem take the histogram and then tick on normality plot with tests and options I'm not going to do any changes so if I hit the button for OK SPSS will generate a table and in this table this data shows that these data are positively skewed 0.65 and the standard error is 0.1 and here also SPSS has calculated the uh, test using Kolomogorov, Semenrov and Shavir-Wilk Shavir test uh, for normality of the distribution of the data and as shown here the data are not normally distributed the histogram also confirmed that these data are slightly skewed to the right so it's positively skewed and uh, so the next phase is uh, again with this data it is not possible to move ahead and do uh, a parametric we need to transform the data and we will transform the data using the log 10 to do that you click on transform then click the compute variable we said this so the SPSS will generate a new column it has a variable in it and that variable is based in computation so we're going to name that column with log 10 positively skewed apparently these data are positively skewed so you notice here that there is a function group called arithmetics, arithmetics. Click on log 10, then move the log 10 into the numeric expression box. And we need to do a log 10 for these positive skewed data, which between here. And then if you hit the button for OK, what happens here is that SPSS has calculated the log 10 for this PSF, positively skewed data. Whether these data has been transformed or not, we will, I will go and show you how to do that. Analyze, click again on descriptive statistics, click on explore, then move the log 10 positively skewed into the dependent list box. Click OK. And again, I will go straight forward for the test of normality. It shows here 
that once I we have transformed the data using log 10 the data become normally tend to become more normally distributed as can be seen here by the two tests Shabiru Welk and Kolomokorov Simirov so the data become normally distributed post transformation with log 10 if we look at the histogram see here it is positively skewed that's before transformation with log 10 and this is the shape after transformation with log 10 so these data this transformation of data has corrected the non-normal distribution and become bothered become normally distributed thus a parametric test can be used now what do we do if you have a zero in your data or if you have a negative value in your data again it's the same concept uh, and these data are also positively skewed uh, as you can see here in this column we have a zero value here at case number 10 and uh, so what we are going to do is we are going to transform this data using log then log uh, log uh, log 10 but again to avoid this zero because there is no uh, calculation for log 10 we have to transform these data in a certain way so we click in transform compute variable again as we can see here i'm going to generate a new variable and call it log 10 zero the for for uh, column that has zero value in it or data has the zero value in it and i'm going to again do log move the log to here and i'm going to use the data which has zero value in it and uh, so the log 10 for zero will not be calculated so i had to add number one to it so that the data so zero become one so log 10 can be calculated so if i hit the button for okay again so if i have a positively skewed data that has negative values in it or negative numbers like minus 3.6 or minus 1 as we can see here in case number 5 and case number 14 and if i want to transform this data we need first of all to change this minus into positive and the way to change minus to positive so to do log 10 in it is to add to the column uh, uh, a positive number and in this case i'm going to add since it's minus three six i'm going to add number five to every case on this column the way to do that is to go through transform compute variable reset this and then spss will generate a variable we'll go it, call it log 10 negative number i'm going to select the log 10 and i'm going to move the negative value into the log 10 add to this column five number five so what does this equation says do the log 10 for the column labeled negative add it to it to each cell in it value 5 if you click ok again SBS is generated a column has a variable in it and the negative data has been transformed and the data has been transformed um, using the log 10 so these are the three the way to do log 10 for skewed data that has no zero or minus value in it data that has zero value in it and data that has minus value in it